The Sikorsky Corporation was founded in 1923 by Igor Sikorsky. The Sikorsky Corporation was made in order to build helicopters with the original intent of rescuing people with flying. So in a way, it was like an airborne ambulance. The Sikorsky Corporation is run by Igor Sikorsky himself and all the machines built inside were based off of his designs. Many helicopters had very similar names that usually contain the letter S with a certain number with its own unique design. As time went on, Sikorsky's skill in making helicopters got better and better. In 1931, the, um, the S-40 was the first Pan-American Clipper and the world's largest airline produced. In 1934, the S-42 was established and had 10 world records causing the U.S. to have very prestigious world aviation records. The Sikorsky Corporation kept impressing and were breaking records left and right. The Sikorsky Corporation builds helicopters for the Army, Navy, and even has its own helicopter for the President, the VH-60N. Sikorsky's mission is that they stay. We pioneer flight solutions that bring people home everywhere, every time. The Sikorsky Corporation produces products and services that satisfies customers and also provides the safety needed. They also work together in a collaborative fashion, respecting each other's ideas and diversity. Another value is that they hold themselves accountable for the commitments that they make to their customers and their shareholders and each other. They also value that they are citizens of our community and accept our leadership role with humility and resolve. The mission and vows all come from the one and only Igor Sikorsky. Sikorsky has always believed that his work was for the good of the people and has always tried to make everything as safe as possible. This is an image of the basic design of helicopters and the components it contains. Pause the video to view all the elements to make up a helicopter. Physics behind helicopter lift. Lift, which opposes the downward force of weight, is generated by air acting on an airfoil. According to Bernoulli's principle, the shape of the airfoil causes the airflow to split. The air on top travels faster and has lower pressure compared to the air traveling underneath the foil. Because of the higher pressure underneath the foil due to the pitch, lift is generated. This principle can be applied to helicopter lift. Three axes of flight and how they are controlled. To rotate left and right on the longitudinal axis is called roll which is controlled by the cyclic. For example, if we put in the right cyclic, the helicopter will roll right, and if we put in the left cyclic, the helicopter will roll left. Rotation around the lateral axis is called pitch, which is also controlled by the cyclic. This allows us to pitch the helicopter forward and backwards or up and down. If we were to pull back on the cyclic, the helicopter would pitch up, and if we were to push the cyclic forward, the helicopter would pitch down. The last rotation is around the vertical axis and it's called yaw. It uses the anti-torque pedals to control. If we put in the left anti-torque pedals, we would yaw the helicopter left on the vertical axis. And likewise, if we put in the right pedal, the helicopter will rotate to the right on the vertical axis. Explanation of centripetal force in a helicopter. For an object to move at a constant speed in a circle, an outside force must constantly turn the object toward the center of the circular path. In helicopters, the rotor supplies this outside force to pull the blades towards the middle. Because of inertia, an object will remain at constant velocity in a straight line path. The straight line motion is tangent to the circular path of any object. The centripetal force and centripetal acceleration are directed towards the rotor of the circular path of the helicopter blades. The rotation of the rotor system creates centrifugal force or inertia which pulls the blades straight outward from the main rotor hub. The faster rotation is, the greater the centrifugal force is. Explanation of tangential and rotational speed in a helicopter. Rotational speed is the amount of rotations per unit of time. All points on a rotating system, for example on a helicopter, the blades, have the same amount of rotational speed. Tangential speed, on the other hand, is speed in a uniform circular path. This is represented by the equation vt equals 2 pi r over t, which is period, or 2 pi r times f, which is frequency. Since tangential speed depends on the radius of the circular path in a helicopter, the further away from the rotor on the blade, the faster the tangential speed is. This is the explanation of torque in a helicopter. Torque is found by multiplying the applied force by the distance to the axis of rotation. Torque is to rotation as force is to motion. Torques makes blades go in rotation. The unit of torque is measured in newton meters. Torque produces, produces rotation while force makes objects accelerate. 
The equation for torque is radius times force times sine theta. This is the explanation of angular momentum. Angular momentum is momentum in a circle. It is equal to the moment of inertia times the angular velocity. It is also defined by the object's mass times velocity times the radius of the circular path it takes. Conservation momentum means the angular momentum will always stay the same before and after in a system, unless it is acted on by an external torque. For example, in a helicopter, the rotor picks up speed because the diameter is shrinking, so this causes the inertia to get smaller. If you increase the inertia, then the angular velocity decreases.